Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna keep on talking about the analyst uh, tab over here. So let's just get started. I already talked about the input debugger in the previous video. So check that out if you wanna know about that. Also talked about AI navigation. So we're just gonna get started in the I am GUI debugger. And let's just put it right here. Let's open this up a little bit. Now with this, we could select one of these tabs right here, which is pretty much all this stuff right here, like the inspector, the toolbar, all that. So I'll, I'll just click, click toolbar. And now we can see everything being rendered out, how it gets rendered out. So this is the toolbar. So you can see this one gets rendered. That gets rendered over here. Then there's the pause button, the play button. It just shows you how everything gets rendered. Now, if you had your own window as well, so if I open this up, now we can see there's the toolkit example, which was the window I just opened. And you you can see everything that makes up that window as you can see and then you could also use draw clip so if you want to see clip it'll show you just the numbers you can see the layout if you want to just see the layout if you want to see the name control which this one don't have none you can see the properties the unified so depending on how you want to see it i usually keep it at draw and you could show overlay if you want to if you don't want to show overlay and then so show overlay let's, let's go over here to toolbar so there's that hand and you can see that little square that's pretty much the overlay so as you can see and then there's force inspect optimized ui block if you click that you could force inspect you know some GUI there's also pick style so if you want to pick so you just click on this hold it hold the mouse down and uh, pick whatever you want to pick pretty much so let's say I wanted to pick this transform over here and then just let go and that's where you see it right here on the 26 draw so yeah that's pretty much what this is I never really used it but you know somebody might find some use for it now there's also physics debugger now the physics debugger if I drag this over here here and open this up a bit now this shows you what object you selected so terrain here's a cube cube one and then you can show physics scene so you can show everything in the physics scene or if you just want to show the tutorial or nothing you can show layers so if you want to show all the layers that you have or no layers you could show static colliders so if I go closer you can see all these blue lines if I click this off Apparently you see it, but it should disable and enable stuff that you can see. Let me increase this real quick, just so we could see what's going on. As you can see the blue one, and then you could disable box collider, sphere colliders, whatever you need to. And you could show none, so you won't see anything. Show all. So here's the terrain colliders. You could click this and show terrain, mesh, all that. Now these are ways to change the actual colors so let's say i wanted to change that to like a purple so you can see it's purple you can change the rigid bodies to whatever color you want so that's this box you can see i have like a red and yeah you could just change everything you could reset it up here so that's how it normally is right here and then you could add variation to the color so just by sliding this it will automatically change the variation you could also change the transparency so if you don't want to see it if you completely want to see it and not see really anything else there's also if you want to force overdraw so as you can see it just adds more so more vertices more squares that you can see pretty much there's also the view distance so if you have the shorter you won't see everything so see the view distance now there's terrain max tiles so how much tiles maximum can be on this grid so if we have three you can see there's only three maximum on the grid and this is just for the terrains so it doesn't apply for like cubes and stuff like that and yeah this is pretty much it this is just a way to debug real quick your physics see what colliders you have in the world uh, what static meshes what terrain colliders all that stuff uh, this is pretty useful in many cases so we'll keep on going from here now there's also the frame debugger now frame debugger if i put this over here i could enable it as is so if i hit enable it goes to the game view and it takes pretty much a quick picture of everything so now i could go through pretty much the depth passes so these are all the depth passes i could go through all the drawing passes so if i go render I could go through the shadows i could see all the shadows being drawn i could go through the render forward see how everything is pretty much being drawn onto the computer you know they do this pretty much step by step and instead of doing all this how i'm doing you could also slide this real quick so this is the first draw call 
and then you can just see every frame what it does it draws and draws and then you can see it starts adding the image starts adding the color and that's how it is and then so another thing you could do is you could also disable this real quick you could hit play and now let's say i drive around and let's say i go over here to this mountain over here and i kind of lean like that now I could enable it and now it will show me pretty much everything taken at that moment. So all the draw calls and everything. So as you can see, that's where I am. That's where I ended up at. And you just could pretty much see how it gets rendered. You can see if over here, you can see all these properties. You can see the shaders that got used. You could see, you could change these to see the way you're seeing the alpha channels. So you can see the alpha, the blue channel, the green, the red only. You could show all. You could also change the levels. So you could tint this or you could make it brighter. So it's just a way of pretty much debugging a frame, checking what looks good, checking what's going wrong, stuff like that. So, so yeah, I think I'm going to cut the video short here. In the next video, I will be talking about this profiler standalone process and the profiler i won't be talking about the timeline because i have already but after that i will be talking about the audio mixer so stay tuned for that if you guys are enjoying these videos or if you learned something new hit that like button i would really appreciate it also if you haven't already and you want to keep seeing more videos like this hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as i post a video once again thank you guys